In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use WeTransfer to send photos. So let's say you've got a bunch of photos that you've taken, maybe for your holidays, and you want to share this with someone. I'm going to show you how you can use WeTransfer to do so. So the first thing you need to do is go to WeTransfer.com. WeTransfer allows you to transfer files, photos to other people, and you can do that directly. And you can either do that via a link or you can invite them via email. First, what you need to do though, is you need to add your files. So you can click add files that will open up a file explorer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of the photos that I want to send. Alternatively, if they're in a folder, you can click the folder as well, but we're going to open all of these files. So now what it's going to do is it's going to upload the files. You can upload up to two gigabytes worth of files in one transfer. You've then got a couple of options. You can now either go and invite someone via email or you can create a link. This is up to you. If you click send email, it's going to ask for a recipient email. So email to, it's going to ask for your email and it's also going to ask for a message. If you click on these three dots, you can though change it to a link, which is what I'm going to do for this video. So once you have decided how you want to send it, either way, you're going to need to enter in your email and then give your files a title. So I'll put here holiday photos and you can also write a message if necessary. Once they're all uploaded though, click get a link, or if you send in via email, it will just say send. You then will need to confirm that this is your real email. So just copy the code that they will send to your email and verify this. And then once you click verify and send, it will then send out your images in your case, and it will give you a link. Just wait for them to upload. Once they've uploaded, you're either gonna have them sent via an email and then the recipient will receive that email and they'll be able to click on the download link. If you've chosen to share via a link though, you can just copy this link and you can send it to the person you're sharing with. And when they click on the link, it will just prompt them to download and it will be that simple. So all they would have to do is click on the link and download. So I hope that quick video did help you out.